What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darian. And of course on YouTube, I go by the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And this channel is all about looking good and smelling amazing. Smelling your best, uh, looking your best each and every day. So if you think that will be of interest to you, I invite you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. Uh, hit that bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I release new content on the channel. So as most of you very well know, I've been talking lately about uh, doing fragrance uh, related content that I think is a little bit more appropriate for the seasons. I think that, you know, of course, if it's cold outside, if it's the winter season, then more folks will be looking for content that are specific to that season. So it kind of makes sense to kind of release uh, content that is related to that uh, or conducive to those type climates. So on today's video, what I'm going to be talking about with you guys is uh, fragrances that get the best performance for me. Uh, that fall into uh, the cold weather category, if you will. Fragrances that are great to wear in cold weather in my collection that I get the best performance out of. Now, I know for some of you, uh, some of these fragrances may not come as a surprise. Some of them you are uh, certainly will be aware of or conscious of that work well in cold temperatures. But again, uh, folks seem to like that kind of content. So uh, the category of beast mode uh, be smooth performing fragrances um, is what I'm going to be talking about today. Uh, Ten of fragrances in my collection that, that I think will fall into that category that are great for cold weather. Now, with that being said, I think it is worth uh, to some degree defining be smooth. Um, for me, um, I think a fragrance that goes past that nine hour mark, I'll consider that to be a be smooth fragrance. Now, a fragrance that has good or good or great performance, I think fall into the seven and a half to nine hour window. Um, of course, acceptable performance to me is anything that falls from that six, maybe that six to seven and a half, that's acceptable performance. And sometimes, you know, anything less than that, we start to have conversations about whether or not it, it, has, it doesn't have good performance. So anyway, with that being said, these fragrances in my collection give me over that nine hour, or at least that nine hour mark or, or better. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. So if you guys want to hear about uh, 10 of the best fragrances in my collection that fit that category, then you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of coffee lately, guys, when I do my uh, videos. Uh, this mug is a new coffee mug. I don't know if you guys, you should be able to see that pretty good. I love the colors. It's a Polo, uh, Ralph Lauren Polo mug. It has the, the bear, and I must say that he's dressed uh, very cool on this, uh, <laughs> on this mug. He has on the Polo sweater, nice ensemble. I might have to copy that for Thanksgiving or something like that. I don't know, but for me, coffee tastes better when it's cold outside. And there's something about fragrances and coffee, especially these kind of fragrances, these uh, sweeter uh, fragrances that sometimes even contain a note of coffee. I just like the whole combination. You guys have heard me say that before. So I'll be sipping on some coffee and talking about some fragrances. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. All right, guys, the first fragrance that I want to talk about today, this one comes from the House of Novices Parfums. Uh, one of the latest releases with, uh, was done by, of course, Big Beard. And this one is called Exalt Nui. Exalt Nui, uh, Novitus Parfums. Uh, this fragrance has nuclear performance. I'm telling you right now, I wore this fragrance uh, maybe last week. And um, I told the story when I talked about this fragrance, when I reviewed these fragrances, or kind of gave my impressions on these fragrances that I wore it, put it on around 8 o'clock in the morning, got to the gym at around 6, 6.30 and off skin, because I didn't spray it on my gym clothes, off skin, people were still picking this stuff up. So this one definitely falls into that category. Now, you're gonna start to see uh, with fragrances that have great performance, there are certain notes oftentimes that you'll find in these fragrances. This one has benzoin in it, it has cacao. Uh, that's a note that uh, you'll see multiple times on this list, uh, labdanum. Uh, I think vanilla is in this one as well. 
uh, maybe even some tonka bean, but you start to really see those type notes uh, in fragrances that perform well. Uh, notes that give off a sweet vibe, notes that give off a resinous vibe. These are the type notes oftentimes that are fixative type notes to give fragrance greater performance. And this one definitely falls into that category. So if you're looking for something in beast mode, uh, this is one I would recommend from the Novitus Parfums. This one is called Exalt Nui. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, this one is from the House of Town 4 from the Private Blend Collection. And this one is called Tobacco Vanille. Tobacco Vanille. This one performs really, really great on my skin. Uh, I really enjoy uh, wearing this one. You only need maybe two sprays of this, maybe three if you want to be a savage. Uh, but you're going to get, again, over nine hours of performance, at least I do on my skin. Um, and this one, again, is one that has the vanilla, cacao, uh, dried fruits, uh, tobacco, quite naturally, of course. And again, these type notes you're going to find in fragrances that give you great performance. And this one, if done right with those notes, this one performs, uh, performs well. Other fragrances, again, with those notes perform well. And I like what I'm saying. Uh, so when you start talking about the, the cold weather, you definitely want fragrances that are going to, uh, for less lack of better words, stand up to the cold weather. And this one does the job. Classic, I think, in the community here uh, by Tom Ford. This one is called Tobacco Vanille. All right, guys, next on the list today, we have a fragrance that comes from the house of by Killian, or now they call it Killian Paris. And this one, of course, one of my absolute favorites. This is Black Phantom. Black Phantom. Uh, again, one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. I was sitting there um, uh, earlier today really looking through my collection. Uh, I think that's something that a lot of us do that really just love fragrances sometimes. We just go and sit there and look and kind of go through fragrances and kind of look at uh, what we have, kind of admire the collection to some extent. And I started thinking about what five fragrances in my collection um, really are my favorite five like my top five fragrances in my entire collection, and this would be one of them. So outside of the fact that it smells absolutely fantastic, of course, what this list is about today, this is a, a great performing fragrance. Um, I'm sure anybody that has this will tell you, you spray this thing on clothes, you can come back a week later and you still pick it up. Um, I always tell the story, one of the first times I wore this uh, was on Thanksgiving, uh, the year before last, I think it was. And, um, yeah, and I put this on a polo shawl, shawl collar sweater that I had on. Came back like two weeks later and it still was there almost if I just applied it. So this stuff is heavily concentrated. It works, uh, on the skin. Again, if you're talking about a fragrance that has performs well, it's going to cut through the cold temperatures of the fall, especially the winter. This is one you want to take a look at. Uh, this one has sugar cane, it has dark chocolate, of course, coffee as well. Oh, man. This, this is one of the best on the market, man. And, and again, uh, performance is out of this world. So, from the House of By Killian, this is Black Phantom. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list that I want to talk about is a designer fragrance. It comes from the House of uh, Azaro, and this is Azaro Wanted by Night. Um, I just released my uh, winter, top 10 winter designer fragrance video maybe about a week and a half, two weeks ago maybe. And this fragrance made the list. I like the original, Azaro Wanted, but man, this is to the next level because it has notes that I really, really enjoy uh, in this one. Um, you kind of pick up the DNA of the original, but again, we have some notes that really amplify it. When I think about a fragrance coming out with a darker version of itself, uh, Azaro nailed it with the original release and then with Want It By Night. Uh, what was added here, we have some cinnamon in this. We have some uh, incense as well. Oh, man, I, this stuff is just good, guys. Um, this, is, this is really, really good. Um, and again, for me, the cinnamon is the standout star player, the cinnamon and the incense. And that's why I mentioned those two notes. It has some fruity accords in here as well that, will, that are going to remind you of the original. But this DNA was taken to the next level uh, when they came out with Wanted by Night. So, again, nuclear performance, at least on my skin, I get about that nine and a half hour mark, the times that I have worn this fragrance. So, again, if we're talking about performance, this one hits the nail on the head. 
And so it was one that I highly recommend if you're looking for a great performer uh, during these colder months. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list today comes from the house of Nasamato, and this is called Black Afghano. Black Afghano. This one is definitely going to get the job done if you're talking about performance. This one performed all day long. It's an extract de parfum, so the uh, oil concentration is very high in this fragrance. And that's why, of course, you know, you may look at the small bottle that this comes in, but uh, it packs a really, really heavy punch in the performance category. So again, although there's only 30 uh, mLs of juice in this bottle, it can really go a long way because you really don't need many sprays of this stuff uh, or any fragrance from this collection, to be honest with you, to get performance and be noticed. But uh, of course, the standout note on this is cannabis. Uh, but what I really like about it, it's not uh, not to the point where you can't wear it or where somebody's going to think you've been smoking if, you, if you're if you wearing this stuff. It's in there, but it's really, really, um, I think, blended well and masked with sweeter uh, undertones in this fragrance. It has some oud in this as well and some incense um, to go along with that. So it really, really works well. Again, uh, I'm talking about I really look to wear this fragrance when, I, when I'm going somewhere where it's formal. I mean, this right here is just, would really just do the job. It works well with that type of attire, but by that same token, you kind of want to go for that bad boy feel. Um, honestly, I think it works with date nights as well. But again, a great performing fragrance from the house of Nasamato. This is called Black Afghano. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list that we want to talk about, this is a crowd pleaser right here. And this one comes from the house of Parfums de Marley. We're talking about Carlisle. Carlisle is... An amazing scent. It's a crowd pleaser. It's a mass appealing scent, but again, it performs great. Um, I'm pretty confident off the top of my head, this is definitely the top performer uh, in my Parfum with the Marley collection. And of course, you guys know I've done a top 10, so I'll have quite a few. Uh, so that's saying a lot because there are quite a few fragrances in the Parfum with the Marley collection that really have good performance, but this is definitely one of the best, if not the best um, performer of all. OK, what I like about it kind of has that mass appeal that you get uh, again, and uh, it opens up a little bit fruity. You have a green apple. Um, I've heard some people say it kind of reminds you of the best things from Leighton and Herod, uh, all kind of wrapped up in one bottle. Uh, maybe even um, Habden as well, because Habden has rose in it, a nice rose note. This has some rose in it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but again, it, it's just. It just performs well on my skin. Um, this one gets great performance. And that's something, again, that's not, sometimes it's not as easy to really provide uh, nuclear performance with a, with a mass appeal kind of DNA as well. But they, they've been able to accomplish that with this one right here with Carlisle. So definitely one that makes the list when you talk about beast more performing fragrances in the cold weather. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, we're going back to the house of By Killian, and this one is Straight to Heaven Extreme. Straight to Heaven Extreme. And I will tell you right now, the more I wear this fragrance, the more I fall in love with this scent. Man, this stuff is just, just really, really good. If you like the original Straight to Heaven, and uh, for, for you like it was for some people, it kind of fell short in the performance category, give this a try, man. Uh, give this a try. To me, what they did was they kind of turned the cedar wood down a little bit, um, amped up the vanilla, amped up the rum, and you got this masterpiece right here. I'm telling you right now, this thing performs all day long. Uh, when I went out shopping uh, recently for my birthday, um, I was actually wearing this, and I was picking up wafts of it all day long. Um, this is one that the missus truly, truly enjoys when I wear this as well. Um, you kind of get that, definitely get the rum. So you get the boozy accord. Uh, but it's just this really undertone of, of slightly resonant sweetness uh, that comes from this scent. And it's just a great combination of accords. And again, not to mention the fact that it absolutely performs fantastic on the skin. So again, one that performs great. Are you talking about cold weather? Look at the notes in this thing. Uh, this is one you can wear and get your money's worth as it relates to the performance from the house of by Killian. This one, straight to heaven extreme. 
All right, guys, and the next fragrance that we have on the list today, one of my absolute favorites. You've heard me talk about this fragrance several times on the channel. This is from Bond Number no. 9, and this one is New York Oud. New York Oud. One of my favorite fragrances in my collection. You have rose. You have some oud in this, of course, as well. Uh, I think you have patchouli in this. And again, just really gives me great performance. This is a fragrance that, uh, for me, is, uh, is top-notch. It's top notch for me. Uh, it's one that gives you a lot of versatility as well. This is one that the, the missus loves this one. Uh, we had a 50 ml size bottle of that, that which is pretty much gone. So this is a 100 ml bottle. And I'm pretty sure this is not gonna last that long as well. We'll be having to get a new bottle um, pretty, much, pretty soon because I know how it is. We both use this quite a lot. But again, it smells great and it performs excellent. So you can't really beat this one, can't go wrong with this. Again, one of my favorite scents in my entire collection. And it just helps that it performs great. So I can really wear this year round. But it works good in the cold temperatures as well from the House of Bond number nine. This is New York Food. And guys, the next fragrance on this list, we have two more left. These aren't really in any particular order, but if I think I will, if I were putting these in order, this would be uh, definitely in the top three as it has fell, fallen anyway. From the house of Amwaj, this one is called Jubilation 25. Jubilation 25. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, um, to me, the Amwaj house is a fragrance house that definitely has to be an acquired taste because it really has that, that really, they're really spicy, they have that Middle Eastern flair, and that's not everybody's cup of tea. Uh, the average person that really, uh, that doesn't really wear fragrance. I'm talking about the average person you're going to come in contact with. Um, when, you, when you're out and about, of course, wearing, wearing fragrances, they like sweet, they like the, the easy to wear stuff, the mass appealing stuff, you know, the Dior Sauvages of the world, the Aqua DGOs, uh, the Blue De Chanel's, uh, the Dylan Blues. Those are fragrances that are very mass appealing to the average person. So again, this, this fragrance DNA and the fragrances from Amwaj are a little bit more of a quiet taste but I really enjoy them. It's a taste that I enjoy if you love fragrances and the art of it. Have to really appreciate these fragrances and man, this is just one of the best that have ever come out of the Amwaj house. Pretty much any note that you can think of is in this. So just throw some notes out there and it's probably in this if you talk about notes that you typically find in these darker, more heavier resinous type fragrances of Pompanax, Labdanum, Patchouli, Blackberry, I mean, it's all in this particular fragrance, and that's why it performs so well. You know, it's a little bit fruity with that opening, but it's spicy, man, sweet and resinous. I think honey is in this as well. Just a, an amazing fragrance. It's an amazing fragrance. And again, you don't need many sprays. I've had this for about two and a half years, and that's all I've worn, because when I wear it, I really do two sprays. Again, if I'm feeling like a savage, I go for three. Um, I wear it for more celebratory type things, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, uh, maybe Christmas Day, again, birthdays, celebratory type things, I wear this, or something upscale. But man, this is definitely worth it. It is a gem, in my opinion, in the community for a reason. From the House of Unwashed, this is Jubilation 25. All right, guys, and the last fragrance on the list today comes from the House of Prada, and this is Prada Loam Intense. Prada Loam Intense. I think this one made my winter list as well. It's probably one that will always make that list just because it's so good, man. It smells amazing. But outside of that, again, this is one of the top performing designer fragrances I have in my entire collection. Um, and it just smells absolutely fantastic. Um, and this one as well as the original, they both perform well on my skin. But again, um, the notes that they added in this one just took performance to the next level. So you got that irisy type vibe in this, but you got some leather. Uh, in this as well. Uh, I really just give it a very warm, cozy feel. And, um, you know, again, that's something that I like in my fragrances when it's cold outside. Um, again, I could go on and on about this fragrance, but again, if you're looking for one that performs great, a designer scent that performs great in the wintertime, in this beast mode, as we say, this look no further than this one right here from the House of Prada. This is Prada Long Intense. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video as I gave you guys 10 great recommendations for beast mode performing fragrances in the cold weather. I always appreciate your time and attention to these videos because I totally understand 
that without you guys, I am nothing. This channel was nothing, so I appreciate your attention uh, to these videos. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you chose to take a few moments to uh, watch these videos, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, guys, don't forget to take the time to like, comment, and subscribe, and share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find me entertaining, because I'm your guy, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. On this channel, we talk about looking good and smelling amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.